today. From First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio, it's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. playoffs on EA Sports and we are at Wintry First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. Straight ahead we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game and we've got a great one in store between the Brooklyn Barons and the Cleveland Browns. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up, so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. Because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And off comes to Chubb. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A give, this is Chubb. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. The last run got six, now second and four. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. We'll 
outs on for the point after. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. So that one a long 11-play drive. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And how about his performance in the wild card round last week? Truly one for the record books. Touchdown pass after touchdown pass. In fact, the statistician was questionable for this game, trying to recover from that one. And if you didn't know any better, you would have thought they were going 11 on 10 in that game all the way through. But now for this one, can he keep it going? Can he keep the hot hand? On first and 10, Hernandez. And he will find his man Ruggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. First carry for Josh Jacobs. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty... Here's Hernandez to throw on second down. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Hernandez now from the gun on third down. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. So they bring out their punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determine that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. to throw now in his own end zone, eluding the pressure right. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yards there to get things rolling. Get this one across the 35. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete to Peoples Jones. And he's brought down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They'll look to throw again. Flush to his right. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. Cool. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And finding the tight end, Hooper. A gain of six there on first. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Back to throw here. Drops it off for Chubb. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They're going to look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides to a halt inside the 10. Now back to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones there to make the grab. And the Browns go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and two. Play fake, Hernandez. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Yeah, that one looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and break it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. It would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 
Well, not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game. Touchdown, Browns! Donovan Peoples-Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off play action, Hernandez. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Got a man. It's caught inside the ten. It's a big play there for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish. Touchdown! That's caught at the two. Henry Ruggs, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Barons are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Takes it at the 7. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. ready to go and with a two score lead already they may just look to get this thing to the locker room into the secondary past the 40 and all the way up to the 46 looking to speed things up here going with some tempo they'll look to throw now on first down and this one hauled in again it's Hooper so it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this Divisional Round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's AFC Divisional Round game. And you can see the result there. Meanwhile, in our game, we've got one half remaining to find out who goes on to the AFC title game. And to bring it all to you, let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 
go home. That's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC divisional round. This will be fielded inside the five. And he returns this to the 22. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Now Hernandez on first down. And this will be caught by Edwards. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. Touchdown! Henry Ruggs. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Barons come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Must. Still shedding tackles. There he goes, left side. And on the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 66 yards. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Parker. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? To throw is Hernandez. Looking to throw on second down. And that's incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. And they bring their punter out there now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to 
take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. So first and 10 now from the 30. He'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Going for the right side here. Complete. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now whistles here, and we've got a man down. Man down on the field. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Eluding the pressure right. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. Touchdown, Browns. Anthony Schwartz, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Browns add six to their lead. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. But 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in an expected passing situation. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Hernandez throwing on first down. That's into the hands of Edwards. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's Hernandez to throw on second down. Looking sideline incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 
And that is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe you can expect more passes like that downfield. They go with Jacobs. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw. Hernandez. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, Hernandez. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Back to throw. Hernandez completes this out left to Ruggs. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 28. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Got an open man, it's Ruggs. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time with Jacobs. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a five yard touchdown run. And the Barons have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point right down the middle. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Browns are able to cover this one up. Room to run at the 50. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. They're able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. And he's taken down. 
back at his own seven. Clock rolling here under 90 seconds to go. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. To throw from his end zone, Hernandez. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Donovan Peoples-Jones saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Browns are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Hernandez now on first and ten. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's got Rome. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. That will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Now Hernandez. Looking to throw on second down. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Browns.